Yeah, she's an 11 month old black lab. They've done a ton of training. Can you tell? Yeah. PetSmart, two different private lessons companies. Tons of work at home, and this is the result. No, they've used treats and balls for rewards, right. and it is, the wheels are falling off. So only rewards? Only rewards. This is what happens. Absolutely. It's not fine. We'll get her, we'll get her issues. <laughs> I just feel bad for the people because they're just doing what they're told. So she actually has an opportunity to go with her human owner um, to live in a college dorm this fall. Cool. And she can't go like this. No, 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 that would be a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're very excited about that. <laughs> bad, yeah. really bad. The drop off was bad too. I mean, the owner just kept trying to give commands and... Yeah, so the owner kept trying to give commands and it was, it was painful. It was frustrating for me to watch. I can't imagine being the one trying to give the commands. I mean, she was just completely blowing her off, like, like, and then the one time she sort of listened, she got up after a second, but while she was listening, she barked at her. Yeah, complaining. It was, yeah, she wouldn't, yeah, she wouldn't do anything. She yeah, that's, it's, um, it's frustrating <laughs> to be in that position, and I've been there, and you've been there, and, uh, and then the part that hurts your feelings, you know, yeah, that kind of happened with me and my dog, is like, how did, uh, how could you, why would you do that? Yeah. I thought we were having a good time. So anyway, the owner said, you know, she'll listen in the living room. I'd like to see what that standard is, though. Right. Um, well, I mean, if there's but nothing... But it really falls apart outside the house. It really falls apart. playing the game, because yes. that's what it is. It's a game, doing, yeah. When you're doing treats, you're playing like a carnival game, right? Yes. Like if you do this right, you get this treat. If there's nothing better to do, why not play the game? Yeah. As soon as there's other things to do, they're not going to play Look the game. Look how quickly we stop that barking. Yeah, I just corrected a couple times uh, on the e collar when she barked, and I told her to be too quiet, and she uh, seems to get the idea. So we'll get started here. What's your name? Shadow. Shadow. Hi, Shadow. How are you? How are you? You a good cat? So yeah, yeah um, I'm pretty sure she knows everything except for heel. <clears throat> the hardest one to teach, right? Um, yeah, and there's also a ball that they sent that she oh, yeah. is just completely OCD with. Well, that's a good thing to start yeah. with. You got that? No, I'll go get it. All right. Come. Wow. Yeah. This is how we're putting meaning behind the tone. She hears it right now, but doesn't understand what it means. Yeah. So we're I using like a verbal C-O-M-E cool. paired with look at his body language, giving her information. Stim is cool. on immediately after the tone and it turns off when she gets in front of him and stays. Every time she walks away, it starts over again. So sure, we're actually building a stay along yeah. with this recall. That's real good. The reward is the good girls and the pets. Yes. Yay! You can see some of that prior training. Drink. <clears throat> Coming <Yeah>. through. <clears throat> I remember when I had my first dog to myself, you know, my, the dog I was raising by myself without my family. And we did pet smart too. And when I was there, one of the employees took me aside because my dog was a little unruly. He was like, dude, you're not going to get what you need here. Here's my card. Like, oh. I, mean, I never did contact him. Like, he was honest with me. He's like, this isn't going to. This is like tricks. Yeah. It's not going to solve your problem. That's funny. Good. But I've been there. I've been, I've been to the point where you're, you're, you're begging, your dog. you're like, here's, here's what you want. If you want this, do this. And it just, it's yeah. very frustrating. Good girl. That was good. You're smart, huh? I see. Yes. 
Calm. Beep. Verbal. Good job. Body information. Stem. Come in there. Good. It turns off when she's there. That's a good girl. Wow. <clears throat> What's really cool? Good. Is when we start training like this, the praise and the, the pet is actually very much valued. It goes up in value, so the dog really will work just for, the, for you being proud of them. Good. Right? And the reason why it works in this training style is because we have contrast. We have the reward of being proud, good girl, praise, and pet. The contrast is we can also correct. We can also punish things we don't like. So that means, because we've added corrections in, that means that our praise means more, right? If we didn't have a way of punishing what we don't like or correcting what we don't like, praise doesn't really mean as much. But because there's contrast, it actually goes up in value. Good kill. And then the dog will work for seeing that you're proud of them, right? Good job. She already feels really good. Good kill. You're young, Clear right? Headed. 10 months? 11 months. 11 months, okay. So, oh, so okay, away, it's going to start over again. Okay might be the release word, is that what I'm guessing? Um, word? I don't know if they have a release word because I don't think she's ever stayed before. Oh. There you go. A lot of e-collar work there. Yeah, Josh is, Josh is working the e-collar silently, you guys. So every time she moves away, it's going up. Every time she comes back, it goes down. It turns off when she's in front of So in case you're like, wow, it doesn't look like much is going on. There's a lot going on. Yeah, that's why I love the e-collar. It does all the work. Yeah, you just have to know how to operate it. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, it's really changed the way that trainers train, you know. You used to have to leash, use a leash for everything. Break. Wow, good girl. She's also learning a release story. Good. good. That's good, girl, Shadow. That's good. I really like that. It's taking a little energy. She's also time. getting into scuffles with the chihuahuas at home. What? Um, she's annoying them? The chihuahuas do not want any part of her. They growl right. when she comes up to them and she does not care. She uh, And they've actually bitten her and she'll, she'll actually put them in her mouth and paw at them. Really? And she doesn't care at all about about their growls and bites. So and she's stuff. more playing, right? Yes. And annoying. Yes. Being entertained by the Yes, situation. and they are like, get away yeah. from us. It's yeah. Very difficult. So she they need her to leave them alone. That's a very easy thing <laughs> yes, to, it is. to take care of. They're gonna home. love this training. Oh yeah. Super, super easy. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. Barking will be easy. Uh, as far as for now listening, well that will be easy. Everything yep. will be Easy, so that's good. I think the hard thing, if, if it is, um, and I don't, some people don't struggle with this at all, so it's not hard at all, but it's just the mentality of being like, yep, we're gonna correct you for not listening. Yeah. That's it. Yep. It, that's the only difficult thing that well, we yeah, see for... people struggle with is mentally they have an issue with punishing the dog. But look how awesome she looks once you do. Good. Look at yeah, her. Not, it's not like that's all we're doing. She looks all great. Day. She needs it. She oh, needs yeah. It. She's, she's going to um, be less anxious. I feel like she's already too. connected with you more. And like at the drop off, it was just like she was so disconnected. Did she just leave her on her? All right. She was just constantly. Oh, yeah. I mean, they had to pick her up and put her in the car, but. Well, she was just constantly all over the place at the end of the leash, you know? Yeah, this will actually make a stronger bond. For sure. It's interesting. It's because the other type of bond, I don't want this to sound the wrong way, but it can be very superficial. Yeah. Maybe just top level, what are you offering me, what are you giving me? As soon as it becomes real and you make it a pack thing, and you're like, I'm the leader, you're the follower, and I'm invested in this pack, so that means I'm going to be correcting you for not following. Um, it's like parenting. All of a sudden, the bond is deep, and it's very, um, you know, they become attached to you in a, in a deeper way. Good. That's why here, after, after a week or so, they become followers, sometimes two weeks, depending on the dog. You see the relationship is really um, solid. You know, the dog is, has a desire to please you. Good. They're part of the pack, right? We're not just dispensers of good things, right? We're not just, here's food, here's an open door, here's a toy. 
that's kind of top level surface, you know, uh, relationship. Once we invest in being the leader, uh, it's going to be, she's going to be not only balanced up here, which she needs to be, she's going to be much more bonded to us, right? In a real way. Good, good girl. Okay? Those dogs in the house are trying to correct her. So their method right out of the gate is we need to punish her. So anyway. but, but what's interesting what's interesting to me is that the dogs in the house have the answer. Yes, they do. They're trying to tell you you need to punish the dog. You yes. need to correct the dog. So yes. they're, they're actually they're in the natural world, right? They're not being influenced by like looking things up on the internet, how to train a dog or anything. They're just saying, Oh, we need to correct her. Yes. So the answer's been under your nose the whole time. Those dogs are telling you what to do, right? This so is probably the, the longest reason, she's held a command her whole life. Yeah, the only reason she's looking so good now is because I just did what the dogs were doing and I just corrected. Yeah. The, the, the instability. She doesn't even have to be doing something per se wrong. She doesn't right. have to be barking or jumping or, or biting. But if she gets into the space of, a, of another dog with that unstable energy, every dog's going to want to correct her, especially the older dogs. So, state of mind. If she's like this, that's a good girl. If she's crazy, without permission, without the context of playing, right? I didn't offer to play ball or something. Correct. Right? And so now she's feeling Sweet stable. Heart. And she'll actually be healthier this way. She's pretty. Yes, she's a good girl. Right? Yay! Yeah, shadow! I think this is the first time we've ever had a shadow. Yes. Now she's going to walk around kind of like on eggshells in the beginning like this because she doesn't, she's so new, she just got her, she knows she has to change her behavior, but she doesn't know exactly what's right and what's wrong. Yes. She's like, I need to figure out, okay, I need to change my behavior. I don't know exactly what's on the table and what's off the table. So she, she says what she thinks we like. So now she's just off. She's going to sit. They like quiet. They, they like, like when sits. I sit. Yes. So she's off that stuff. So Good girl. With more experience and living with, uh, within the programming under our leadership, she'll know exactly the do's and don'ts, and then the here comes the confidence. Okay? So, this, this kind of like walking like this, what's right and what's wrong, that's just a bridge to get to her being confident again, but being confident and being a follower. Not independent, not a brat, not a, not a leader, but a follower. So, we'll see that confidence come right back, and even more so. Good. Paul? So this ball, they said, is a big problem. She <laughs> is obsessed with it, and when the, if she can see the ball, she's crazed. Well, this is exactly why I wanted you to bring it. I just met this dog, and we've only spent a few minutes together, but I am trying to claim the leadership position. I'm trying to form a pack with her, which is what you want to do. That's why we love dogs. They can, they can make us part of the pack, which is awesome. I'm trying to claim the leadership position. So what I'm going to do is take the ball that she's crazy over, and I'm going to claim it and say it's mine, mm -hmm. right? I'll offer it to you when I want to play with you with it, but it's mine. The reason why this ball is going to be perfect is because it's very she, high value. Very high value. Yeah. If you can claim something, a lot of people do it with food. You know, a lot of people do it with furniture. Furniture. Just, um, I don't. You know, it's funny. I say a lot of people, but actually most people don't do Trainers. it. Trainers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. People who are looking to, to, to become a leader are usually use some type of claiming. They'll claim something. Because that's what dogs do. There's different types of conversations to get that position. This is one of them. I think it's a good thing to start with because we got that recall, so. Now, what's different is she's got a relationship with me she hasn't had yet. So she might be different from the beginning. You could see that little crazy look for a very split second if you look at the video. And then she looked right at me. And then she looked at you. She and said, all we've done was recall. And she, now she's like, I can't even look at it. <laughs> right, she's allowing me to have first access. That's what they give somebody. That's respect. I haven't even done it. I haven't even told her not to. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. The only thing I've done with her so far. Is recall. Is I, I, I corrected the barking, but I didn't even do it myself. It's not like I went over there and gave her a correction with the leash or something. I just silently, she barked, correcting the e collar. She barked again a minute later, correcting the e collar. Told her to quiet. That's it. And then, there's like two recall reps. Right? And then a little love. Good girl. Good girl. Once she's in the right state. And now we've already started to form a relationship. 
easier for me because I don't have a past relationship. This is the beginning. First impressions matter. Right? You'll change your relationship as well. Alright? This is the ball, huh? This is the, yeah, it's it a could have been ball. anything. It could have been any ball. This is a nice little chuck it. It ball. activates drive, is what it does. Oh yeah. And it's addicting. That yes. adrenaline. Yep, it's very addicting. Yeah. And now here's a little tip for anybody out there who's watching this. Uh, if you have a puppy and you introduce, you know, a ball, ball or tug or anything that's going to get drive going, I would not turn it on until you know how to turn it on. Yes. So, because if you turn it on, then the dog gets stuck there. Yeah. You don't know how to turn it off, and then that's where they live. Yeah. And then you know, a week, two weeks, a month, a year later. They're, they're, that they, they were allowed to develop in that state, they just kind of stay stuck in that state and a lot of bad associations happen. So if you're going to introduce something like this, you also want to introduce and know how to make one noise that turns off the drive, puts the dog in the calm state, right? All right, if you ever watch a dog whisper, he would go shh, and that would mean calm. So if you're going to turn it on, you got to turn it off. Interesting stuff. I see. I didn't even claim it. I just had it. Interesting. This is like a dog we get in 2018. Interesting. To be honest with you. That's true. <laughs> as the years go on, you get more difficult dogs as your reputation gets better. People tend to send the heavy hitters. This is good. Yeah, because a lot of dogs are a little bit more serious that come through here. This is a little bit more mild case, but... And that's why she was put on for three weeks. But it weeks. doesn't mean that she's not stressful at home at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is good. Now this is... She is just begging for a leader. So she's, you can see she's... She cares more about our relationship than the ball. Right off the bat. Keep it real with her. Remember that. Keep it real. But it, it's easy to get caught up in like the, you know, I don't know. Begging like and treats and you know, yeah. yeah. Like all that. That's Pet smart. Thing. We know it deep down. I watched a bit of that video that you sent me and I thought it was really good to, for me to understand the relationship. And I felt like the... Um, her drop off video. Uh, yeah, I felt like the mother, is that who it was? I felt like the mother um, really had, she's ready to do it real. She's ready to be real with the dog. I could see she was frustrated, which she rightfully should be. She's ready for a change. And to me, it's like, it just felt like inside, she already kind of has it in her. She, she just knows. needs a tool. Yeah, she just needs somebody to tell her where, when, and how, and then it would be fine. Um, but I could just see with her vibe, it was more like, listen. Um, even though she was using treats and she was doing that method, the vibe was still like, you need to listen. And the dog still didn't. Well, yeah, but but the vibe was there, uh, it, you know, we don't want to be frustrated with the dogs, we actually want to be proud of our dogs, but uh, we, it's hard to be proud of not listening, so. Look, she's got potential, she needed a, a way to be held accountable, good kid. I was expecting to see, whoops, sorry girl, sorry about that, the thing bounces. Um, well, if we see. brought the ball out in the first couple seconds where she was just barking her head off, it yeah. would have been a different response. Maybe I should have done that first so we could see it before and after, but... Um, we can get the picture. See this monitor here? Calm, clear-headed. Yeah. She's looking in the mirror trying to figure out if that's her or not. She was barking at herself. Yes, she um, was. When she first came in. She thinks so. it's another black lab. Yeah, we'll, we'll, put this, we'll put this ball away for now. Um, I don't think we're really going to need it. She does go to daycare and she plays. She's very good. Oh, good, because we'll have socials yes. here. Yes. Let's bring in... Rig, you okay. need to see how she responds to that. Rig! He's just waiting to hear his name. <laughs> Love it. A lot of barking when she sees dogs normally. Yeah, maybe we should step on. She's a character record for that. He would have character than I did. Yeah, character for that. Now I know exactly where to crack. See, now look at that. Now she's submitting and letting him. Now, As he, she said, in the natural world, he would have corrected her. He knows his role. He's not allowed to be corrected for that, too. That's how she learns. 
Good boy. Pretty much trying to stand his ground. Stand high, tall. Yeah. Or hackles up. Okay. Letting her know who he is. Now she's like him. <laughs> yes, so now she's what submitting. She be doing. This is what this is how she avoids conflict as well. Yep. She just learned a few things here. She this did. really good. She'll learn more with the other dogs out there. She, um, so let me just break that down to you because I think this is really important. She would have just got bit. Yes. Multiple and times. And she has been bit by the dogs in my house, so it's telling. Yeah, but she hasn't been bit by a dog her own they, size. Yeah. That will be enough for her. He mm -hmm. knows not to bite, but boy, did he because want Because he's under your influence. Yes. He's, he's, you know, I guess you could say he's trained in this scenario here. First thing she did wrong, she went with high energy, disrespectful. She went high with her with her posture, like this. She put her head over top of him. All these things are no-nos. Um, you know, unless it's unless it's consensual play, but it, it wasn't. He's looking for a hierarchical conversation. She was just looking to be goofy. That gets corrected. Boom, bite. Right? I seen him want to do it. I corrected her, and then there was another moment where she went back, and I corrected her again. Those, those moments where I corrected her, he would have, or any other dog would have. Okay? And then she adjusted. You see, she started to calm down. So she's got, there's good judgment in there somewhere. Really good genetics, I'm seeing. Really good genetics. Likely, likely somebody got really lucky here. She's taking these corrections so well, because we've seen the full spectrum of dogs okay. come through here. And they do not always take these corrections this well. And the dog's true temperament is how do they take being told no? And 100%. she she is just doing so amazing. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, that yeah. is really, you know that. That is really the difference. Look at her. How dog takes a correction. Good. Because yeah. what could happen and what often does happen, especially a dog with genetics that are going to be more likely to try to climb that ladder yeah. in the hierarchy, they're going to receive a correction and they're going to fight. Well, that's what she was doing at the drop-off. Isn't that interesting? Right, she was complaining. She was complaining. Was not, well, here's yeah. She's coming back to keeping it real with the dog. We weren't keeping it real with the dog. Yeah. We all know that's not real life. We, like, to give you an example, like, real life is like, if there was actual threats around us, it brings us back to reality. Yes. You know what I mean? It breaks, you stop the the clicking noise. and the clacking. So I'm going to do noise. your nails. But you know, like, 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 if, as soon as there's like threats in the environment, all of a sudden things get real, right? So what I'm trying to say is like, if for some reason we were all in danger, you know, and there was something, you know, uh, the zombie apocalypse yep. thing, right? Oh, there's zombies over there. We all need to be quiet. Otherwise the zombies are going to hear us and come eat us, right? <laughs> Even though that's not real life, but you can see how that, how all of a sudden we would be treating her barking differently. Yes. Like it's real. Be quiet. It's, it's life or death. We have to be, you know, so the thing is, is like, we're not, it's not, we're not being real. With it. Yeah. We're not letting her know. I don't like this. Knock it off. Mm -hmm. we're, we're just saying, we're trying to use the train, right. trying to bribe with a tree. That's not keeping it real. With it. So being real with her would be like, I don't like that. Stop. She and does it again. Up. She yeah. does it again. Punish them. Mm -hmm. And then she doesn't do it, good. good. Do you know who treats her that way? Riggins. Dogs. dogs. The dogs, they live in the natural world. They're not influenced by our politics or what we're being taught, you know, and, and what the latest trend is on how to train your dog or whatever. They're just natural. So the way that they do it is like, I don't like that. If you don't, they might give a warning. I don't like that. The dog keeps going, bite. Bite, yeah. Because that's how they correct. They have their teeth. Yes. That's, they, they have one weapon. And it is their mouth. Yeah. Right. If we don't do that, we're not we're not operating in her world. Yeah. Right. So it, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. What's cool is we don't have to bite the dog. Right. <laughs> we can actually train them on the e collar, and they can understand that this is our way of correcting. Good. But she's doing great. So like back to it, temperament. How does the dog take correction? That's really what I care about as a trainer because everything else can be. I've met dogs that are fantastic. They feel great, but as soon as you correct them, mm, it's not good. They switch. They start biting. And it yeah. gets worse and worse and worse because there's a fight in it that needs to, you need to go through, not around. <laughs> and unfortunately, you have to go through the fight in order to get the dog to be a follower and to, and to no longer do that, to no longer go into that state. 
if we go around the fight, it's always in there. Yeah, the dog's Everybody saying, the dog's saying, prove you're worthy of me following. Prove it. And they have to. And if you can't prove it, I'm not going to follow you to the fullest extent. 100%. She's not really, uh, yeah. she's believing right off the bat. Yeah, she's great. So she's just like buying into uh, the leadership right off the bat. We'll see what happens in the course of, like, she'll probably test. As we narrow in our expectations. Yeah, there'll be some of that. But so far we see, you know, good. We see a nice young lady, good girl. Good candidate to go to the college dorm. I think so. As long as we have, as long as we know uh, and prioritize being the leader. I mean, we have to correct when she's, when she's doing certain things, right? To keep her in line. And then she'll develop nicely. You know, should have felt nice. Good kill. Okay, break. Good girl. Did you see Riggins release at that? Okay. Yay. Break. Good nice. girl. Oh. Let's go outside. That's a good girl. Good girl. Break. Go ahead. Go ahead, Riggy. Break. <laughs> nice work. The way he gallops. He loves it. He just loves He's not as excited about the females. Not as excited as the females. <laughs> loves a nice young male. male that he can <laughs> his favorite thing in the world. Oh. Isn't that something? <laughs> not as excited about the females. Still happy though. This keeps him young, you know? These little experiences. He's, yeah. just, he's out there walking around like this. Yeah. Right now, marking everywhere. <laughs> She looks good. They did a good job of getting her in young. Oh they didn't give up. They, they, they went from trainer to trainer until they found the place that they thought might. The bullies owners go. recommended us. Oh, really? Coda. Sean was here? Yes. Oh. Gibbs. Okay. Hamish. Gibbs. Tell you something. If we can get those guys under control. <laughs> Gibbs was fun. Gibbs was fun to train. We'll do a recall in and see All how right. she does. Here we go. I'm gonna give her a little tone here. Come. Go in the opposite direction. Going in the opposite. Well, that tracks because she. They said it falls apart outside the living room. Here we go. Come on. So she got a correction for going in the opposite direction. Come on. Oh, bug it. So this she's is great. Pressure on. She's just playing with it. She knows what to do. She's just oh. testing the boundary. Yeah, yeah this is normal. Pressure's been on the whole time. And it turns off when she gets in front yeah, of Josh. See how good. clear that is? And if she walks away, it starts over again. Start See? On. This is the real re reason why she's here. Yes. This is her testing the boundary. See how that works? Yeah. Wow. So as soon as she's ready Look to listen that. and decides to listen, she gets it right. Look at that. Good girl. Yeah, that was a very interesting moment there. Good. We got to see her hear the recall, understand the recall, go in the opposite direction. <laughs> Pressure's on the whole time. I get to go up in intensity or down in intensity. And the way I do it is the more she's going away from me, I go up in intensity. You're not going to have to do any of this going on, by the way. No. Uh, it's just, you know, you just going home, she'll turn it's super, on a dime to yeah, the tone. Yeah, you're just going to tap the tone. Yeah. She doesn't listen, give a little credit. Correct. Yeah. You're not training. So the, but the pressure's on the whole time and it's going up in intensity as she's going away or trying to like throw a fit or something. But as she's coming towards me, I'm going down in pressure, but it's on the whole time. She gets here, turns off. Clear as day. Good. And look at that. And here's where she also learns we can have influence um, at a distance. Yeah. Outside without a leash. Yep. In any environment. And that in can any blow environment. her out of mind. And yes. Like, what? Yep. And now she's got to go think on that. And that's why you're seeing a lot of this like... Like processing. This is processing. Yes, because she's not used to humans being able to have that kind of control at a distance. It's like magical. Yeah. Like what is going on? Here? Yeah. My voice and the commands are attached to the sensation yes. that she feels here. And I'm nowhere near her. My body language isn't frustrated. I'm not like trying to catch her, right? Or trying to grab the leash. And so the dog's like, huh. Huh. What happened? This here? is this new. is new. Yeah. Easy we, didn't even, we didn't even tell her to sit or stay. She just did that on her own. Because if she were to leave, she knows it starts over again. Or she's yeah. going to be called again. So, so with all of our commands, we give the command and the, and the dog associates it with continuing to do the command unless told otherwise, right? It's not just do it real quick and then move on. They do it, they stay in the command until told otherwise, whether it's a sit 
recall down, place, heel. Good. Break, good yeah, girl! Break. Come on, let's go. Come on. See what happens, huh? Doesn't seem like she's going to go wander this time. Okay. It's a nice start. Yay, Shadow!